it's good, Pete. Are you still trying to get this smooth head tracking text effect in After Effects? Well, don't worry because today, we'll show you step by step how you can do it and everything you need to know. So to start, and already prepared the text that I want to put the tracker on. And once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead to our original clip and cut it where our text starts. So for example, I have two different text layers for two different sentences. So I'm going to go ahead to where he first speaks and cut my clip right there. Then I'm going to go to where he stops speaking the first sentence and my text ends and cut the clip again right here. So as you can see now, every text layer has a dedicated duration of the clip that fits the exact length of it. So now once we've prepared our timeline for our text tracker, it's time to add the tracker. And in order to do that, we're going to put pre-compose this first clip by pressing Ctrl Shift and C on your keyboard. Select the bottom option and also enable this check mark. Press OK. Now head to the right, open your tracker panel and click track mode. As you can see, you now have these two little squares, so I'm just gonna zoom in. And we're gonna make them a tiny bit larger. Once it looks something like this, we're gonna go ahead and drag them onto the character's nose. By doing that, we're gonna have After Effects track the nose of our character, so that our text is always dedicated to one position once you put in the track point onto the character's nose, go ahead to the right still under your tracker panel, and click this little triangle to start the analyzation note that this step might take a while depending on how fast your computer works now, once this step is done, this is what it should look like now. Go ahead and make sure that every single frame is adjusted perfectly to the nose, cause it might not analyze some frames correctly and you'll have to adjust them manually. For me, it perfectly worked. And now we're gonna repeat this step for every single layer that we have. So I'm gonna go to the next layer as well. Pre-compose it by pressing Control, Shift, C, select the layer, go to Tracker, select Track Motion, and then repeat the same process. So now once all our clip layers are finally analyzed, we're gonna go ahead to the next step and actually have the tracker animate our text. And to do that, we're now gonna go ahead, right click on our pre-composed layer that we put the tracker on, head to open and click open layer. Now here, your tracker should automatically be selected. If that's not the case, press you on your keyboard. It should open up this little window and just select the tracker one right here. Now head to the right under your tracker panel, edit the target, and select the text that you want to have on this clip. So for me, it's the I don't know, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Press OK. Head to the right again, hit Apply. Very important, choose X and Y, and press OK. Now next, we're also gonna go ahead and pick, pre-compose our text layer, so select that. Now when you play your clip, you should already see that the text is following the character's face. But in my case, the text is fully covering the character's face, which in my opinion doesn't look very good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the positioning to make the text go a bit below the face. And to do that, I'm just gonna select the pre-composed text layer, press Q on my keyboard, bring up the positioning property, and now adjust this Y positioning. So I'm just gonna increase it a bit to make it go a bit down. This just fits fine for me. And now when you play the clip, you should see. I don't know. Now the text is already tracking to the character's face. Now what's there left to do is to apply the step onto every other text layer that we have. So because I have another text layer, I'm just gonna go ahead, right click onto my pre-composition, click onto open. And select open layer, select the right tracker, head to the right under the tracker panel, Press on to edit target and select the right text, which for my case is the one that's already selected. Press OK, hit apply, choose X and I and press OK again. Now as well as before, I don't like when the text is covering my character's face, so I'm gonna go ahead, pre-compose the text layer again, press upon my keyboard to bring up the positioning property, and now just increase the UI value a bit so that it goes down a bit. Now the last and most important step is going to be adding a good color correction. Because as you can see, adding a good color correction can increase the quality of your edits immensely. That's it, thank you for watching and see you next time.